The biggest thing I think for the career exploration at their age is they get hands on. They can actually be able to feel how it works. My first years, whether they're second week here or third week here or 10th week, they're going to be out in the shop. I want them to be engaged in it. I like to work as a team group, so I try to put all my people together as a team set. I'm not the average teacher that's out there. I'm going to be one that I'm going to try to get everybody engaged in what we have going on. I want them to know that that's going to be something that they can use throughout their whole life. I think it does prepare you how to buy a car and it's really interesting. Like I never really thought there was so much to buying cars and stuff. One of the biggest things I'd probably get to somebody to come to my class was let them know that we do hands-on. It's not just sit behind the desk and take a test. Uh, we will go out and do hands-on. You will get dirty. You will be able to learn how to do something. You will get secret tricks that I've learned over my 20 plus years of working in the automotive field. It's one thing I teach all my students. If you only get a few things, learn my, my tricks. Make it a little easier for you. You don't have to get worried about certain stuff. And it's a fun class. You get to meet a lot of new people. Oh, you learn the basics of how to fix your car. For someone to take this class, I would definitely recommend it because uh, this class will basically teach you everything you need to know about cars and like what to do on cars, how to clean it. We're doing this class now and by learning just how to do engines that can apply to all sorts of places if you like doing boats, then this can also be applied to that too. Automotive and marine is pretty much similar. They all pretty much have the same concepts, just the basic knowledge will get you in that same concept. I try to instill it in the auto shop. We have a little bit of different everything in there. I have science and auto, I have math and auto, I include English with auto. Every year you gotta learn about a new car, new technologies coming out. You need to be able to keep up with that so you're always gonna go into school. You don't have to be just an automotive mechanic. You can be a service advisor, you can work in parts, you can sell cars. You can turn into an engineer and build the cars. There's many different steps that you can go. I mean, automotive, you can go and branch out to aviation. It doesn't matter, it's, it's pretty much limitless. In this lab, we cannot unfortunately accommodate anybody but people that are extremely driven by passion. We are very few, and so we have to be versatile, we have to work a lot, and we have to be able to solve problems as they come. We cannot delegate always to a specialist in a, new, in a certain field. The fact that if you don't know something, you will figure out a way to learn it to then make, solve the problem. And so the main criterion we use to select people and to keep them is passion.